So today I'm about to share with you how you can get paid to watch movies, yo. A huge TV network is looking for someone to watch 13 horror movies. That's 13 scary movies. And they're gonna pay you $1,300 to do it. I'm about to tell you everything that you need to know about it and where you go to apply right after this. What's up guys, this is Monique and welcome back to the channel. I am back with the news that you can use, but first, if you are new here. Hello, bonjour, hola, aloha, konnichiwa, wagwan, shalom, assalamu alaikum. Thanks for stopping by, but don't just be a stranger. Hit that subscribe button and join the family. So today I came across an article that was sharing this company that wants to pay someone $1,300 to watch these 13 movies. So this big network that they are talking about is actually DISH and a lot of people People should be familiar with that but in case you are not dish is basically a satellite television company and no they are not paying me to tell you this no this is not an ad I literally saw this today and I said let me get on here and share it with you because I really want to help you to put money in your pocket and I'll also leave the link to this down in the description so that you can go and do your own research so over here you can see this is dish and this is what they are telling us watch 13 Stephen King movies by how Halloween and get $1,300. This is not nothing new y'all. They have been doing this for the last couple of years. In fact, this will be the third time they are doing this where they're looking for someone to watch these movies. So who we're looking for? We're going to move on right here because this is something important for you to know. And the first thing they said that this job is not for the faint of heart. So that's where Monique X'd herself out. Why? Because I cannot do scary movies y'all. The scariest I can go is Casper the Friendly Ghost. Okay. So that's why I shall not be applying but I'm sure many of you out there can tolerate it it's just not I I am Mimi and she she can't do it so they say the ideal candidate will have to be detail oriented enough to track their experience so you won't be just watching the movie and like okay let me collect a check and they even say you can share your scares on social media and vlog every time you jump out of your seat now this is not necessary they say that you could even do this but no degree is required for this. You don't have to have a GED or high school diploma, nor will they drug test you or do a background check. Some people might need to hear that. So you have to be 18 years or older, and yes, you will have to be a US citizen or permanent resident to apply to this. Anyone else out there, I'm so sorry. These are most of the opportunities that I find. So what they're going to want you to do when you apply, I'm going to show you the application, all the information that they're request of you. But what they are going to want you to do is basically tell them why you are the perfect person for this job and what you hope to gain from this experience aside from the $1,300 that's going in your pocket. So, you know, you'll just have to do a little wordplay, kind of, you know, play on their heartstrings, tell them, you know, how this is such a great opportunity. You've always dreamed of it. You know how that part goes. And so I am more than sure you'll want to know what type of movies you'll be watching and right here they list out all 13 movies so you can make sure this is something that you can tolerate before you apply and what they want you to watch is Carrie the original or 2013 remake I actually watched Carrie before the original one though and then there's Christine I don't know who Christine is they have creep show they have Cujo and Cujo sound like a dog that I think I know there is also Dr. Sleep there's Firestarter there is it is it chapter two misery the mist pet cemetery i saw pet cemetery before so hey i did two out of 13. there's salem's lot and the shiny so let me know down in the comments if you have watched all of these movies if you have watched some tell me five out of 13 three out of 13 however many movies you've seen let me know in the comments and here's some more information about what they'll expect from you and what they will give to you to make you successful in it so they want to know everything about your experience one thing they want you to do is track your heart rate and your jump scares. So they will be giving you a Fitbit in order to do that part, to track your heart rate. Yes, y'all, this gets real, all right? And then if you have somebody that watched the movies with you, because I would have to do that, but 
they want to also know when they jumped if they jumped and you know if it scared them or not because the whole purpose of this they're trying to figure out what is the scariest movie out of all 13 of these Stephen King movies and so that's why they want to know when you jump what was your heart rate they want to know what you sleep if it was interrupted by this so that's why they're asking for those particular type of things so what you'll get this is one thing you want to know okay one lucky person will get a swag bag with the value of $350 and just to let you know yes they are selecting one person for this role one person for this position so they're also going to supply the 13 movies for you to watch and they're going to give you what they call the survival kit and a survival kit is a blanket popcorn candy and some Stephen King paraphernalia to set the stage but what they're saying is going to be a terrifying experience. And like I just told you a second ago, they are giving you a Fitbit to track your heart rate during some of the intense scenes. And then once you watch all 13 movies, you will have to get through this, y'all. You can't just say, oh, one and done. You have to watch all 13 movies. So once you watch that and log your report, then you'll get paid the $1,300 and you can spend it how you want to. So what do you guys think so far? Like, do you think it's worth it? Do you feel like what they're asking you for is not worth $1,300 to watch the movies and then kind of write out your experiences and get a Fitbit and all that? Because some people might feel like, hey, that's just too much for me. It's not worth it. Let me know what you're thinking down in the comments. So right here it says how to apply so they're just asking simple questions you know any application name address zip code and right here is where they're going to allow you to kind of you know fill out in 2000 characters or less why you feel like you'll be a good fit for this position and underneath it there is an area for you to add a link to a video explaining why you are a good fit for this and this is optional y'all this is not something you have to do however i'm gonna say the more you do the more seasoning that you sprinkle on this thing the better it's gonna taste okay so this may be something that you may want to consider and as far as the link you're going to probably have to just do like a youtube video upload it to youtube and then put the link here because it's not allowing you like to attach documents or attach any other type of files here i mean this is not a hard application process is you just put the bait out there and just see if the fish gonna bite y'all that's it i don't know why a lot of people beat themselves up over it and kind of nervous about it you gotta try the only way you'll know if you're going to get something is if you try it's plain and simple and if you have any problems with submitting the application unfortunately i can't help you with that part but right here in the frequently asked questions they're going to tell you a few things that you can do to try to fix that and making sure you enter your phone number the right way. You have to have at least 100 characters in that box, y'all. They say that's about 12 words, but I would say, hey, you know, try to write out as much as you can, but just make sure it's impactful. And they will email you and let you know by September 30th if you have been selected for this so that's pretty much everything y'all if you're going to apply to this please drop it down in the comments and let me know and if you are selected come back and let us know because i always like y'all testimonies i like everyone to see that so that they can see that these things are real and i just like to brag on my community and let everybody know how we out here winning because what all we do is win but other than that if you have not liked this video please do so also subscribe to the channel and I thank you so much for watching. Until next time, we are out. Peace. <laughs>